Hello, it's Leslie here. I thought I would make this video six Finnish locative cases in six minutes. So I just wanted to say that I'm not a Finnish native speaker, but I haven't seen many videos like this, so I wanted to do it in a graphical, visual form. And it also helps me remember it too by teaching others. So these are the stationary, whoops, these are the stationary cases here and then you've got the ones that are going to something and then from something so the difference is that this will be onto the surface of something this will be from the surface of something going inside something and then coming from outside from inside to outside so i wouldn't recommend learning these i haven't bothered to learn these because it's just requires a little bit of extra mental capacity you know to to think of these extra six words you're probably better off just remembering the endings and and then that's what i'm doing anyway i'm just remembering the endings so this will be l l a the i here in front of all these onto the right hand side is for plural so that's for singular plural singular plural singular plural and these are singular here and plural here. So I found this a lot easier than say Russian cases because in Russian, for example, you have uh, gender and then the ending swap around. And so one time the ending will be one case and then another thing, the ending will be the other case. And also the singular doesn't resemble the plural and all this sort of thing. So I found this a lot more logical and predictable. So I should say mention that these for this one here this is a bit looks like the most complicated of these six. These aren't the actual prefixes that I've I've just uh, the actual prefixes are one vowel shorter than this was I think. I've just actually showed you how the final word will end. So I wanted to show you that it's usually always a double vowel. So you can kind of get the pattern. Um, there's an exception, that's the, the, the H ending. This V stands for verb. So that'll be hon or han or hen or even hun. So, but I wanted you to understand the pattern. Uh, an, en, on. So in will be plural, san, and then seen. So let's look at some examples. Here is the declension for one word, uh, house, singular. So it'll be talolle, talolla, talolta, talon, talossa, talosta. So, plural will be, um, the plural houses taloya. Uh, two, you, so this one will be taloile, taloila, taloilta, taloihin, taloissa, taloista. Probably make more sense with some actual sentences or words put together. So, in the red house, you've got to match the adjective with the, the, the noun. So this adjective also has to be matching in case. So it'll be punai sessa talossa in the red house. In the red houses will be punai sissa taloissa. Okay, so the reason I, I've done this will because on the roof and everything here, because you probably wouldn't say on on top of the house, you'd say on the roof. So on the roof, katolla, the pizza landed on the roof. Pizza putosi katolle. That means it, it, it went to the surface. Um, the pizza fell off the roof. Pizza putosi katolta. Next. So to the house will be talon, to the houses, taloihin. Uh, just to show you the difference between the on and at, I'm at the car, 
In other words, outside, olen altolla. I'm in the car, olen altossa. So, so a few more expressions. In the evening or at the evening, it would be illalla. You'll hear that. In the morning, amulla. I'm going home would be menin kotin. So there's that double menin kotin. And here's another example. I came from the shops would be tulin kaupoista. So or if you come from somewhere, come from. And lastly, they're also used to talk about other things like ownerships. I ownership. I have a phone. Minula on puhelin. That's like saying at me is a phone or a phone is at me i like the house you'd also use this from from uh case pidan talosta or if you're talking about the house it's like uh puhun talosta i'm talking from or about the house so there you have it, six Finnish cases in six minutes. Now I've got a little bit of time to explain one other thing, and that is a bonus. That what I've noticed is this commentative form. So this in spoken form, spoken Finnish, the commentative, they don't tend to use that. So as a bonus, if you want to say with the house, you would put this house into what's called the genitive and then just put kansa on the end. So talon kansa. So that's actually one less case you need to remember. You only need to remember the genitive and you know, you can learn that in another video. But uh, so anyway, that's half of the cases right there. And I think it's easier than it looks. I will say one other thing though, there is one exception to this and it's when you say, I'm at home, you would say, olen kotona. So that would be in another case, but that's an exception. You wouldn't say katola, but you would say olen kotona. That's an older case, I think, that has retained its the way it's said. So thanks for watching. Bye.